This is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lad on C programming. In this video tutorial, we're gonna see function like macros. So in the last tutorial, we have used a preprocessor directive hash defined, and we defined a macro template and a macro definition. So whenever our macro template or macro name was encountered in our program or the source code, you know. Uh, the preprocessor replaced that macro name or uh, macro template with the macro definition so the, that macro name or that macro template can also have some arguments in this tutorial we're gonna write a macro which takes an argument number it's gonna check whether that number is greater than 10 if it is so then it's gonna print okay the number is greater than 10 uh, else it's gonna print okay the number is less than 10 so another thing I wanna tell you is you know when we define a macro you know we, we are not ending that macro definition with a semicolon okay now let's get started so first we're gonna use this hash define preprocessor directive then the name of our macro is gonna be check and it's gonna take a parameter so we call it as number and again and now for the macro definition we're gonna use a if statement another thing I wanna teach you is if your macro definition is gonna be more than one line then you can add a backslash here then continue to write the macro definition in the next line so here first we are writing a if condition in one line then we are adding a backslash then in the next line we are continuing with that macro definition okay first in this if statement if the number is greater than or equal to 10 then here we're gonna use a printf statement and we're gonna say the number is greater than 10 then uh, since uh, we want to put this closing curly brace in the next line we're gonna add a backslash here then here in the next line we're gonna write else then a backslash then in the next line we're gonna write another printf statement it's gonna be printf and we're gonna say the number is less than 10 so you may notice that you know this printf statement we are adding a semicolon here and uh, that's because you know this printf is a statement so it should end with a uh, semicolon so here this macro definition is whole thing you know this is the macro definition that's why we're not ending it with a semicolon here so now we're gonna call this uh, check macro it's gonna be check and as a parameter we have to pass a number so this time we're gonna pass a number which is greater than 10 let's say 25 so now what our preprocessor is gonna do is it's gonna replace this check macro template or macro name with this web uh, let me comment it out and uh, what it's gonna replace with so here this number is replaced with the value passed it's gonna be 25 and uh, then the same statement as we specified here okay let's save it compile it and run it so as you can see here we got the number is greater than 10 now we're gonna close it and uh, pass another number let's say 6 which is less than 10 save it compile it and run it so as you can see here the number is less than 10 that's because you know this number 6 is not greater than or equal to 10 and you know this else part is executed so we can see that this whole macro definition is similar to a function we can call it as a function like macro so this is it this is about uh, the function like macros in C in the next tutorial we're gonna see some more information so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe I see you in the next tutorial